Medals and uniforms stolen from a decorated Army veteran. Only on CBS 46, our Tracy Bragg sits down with the man now pleading for the return of these irreplaceable items. There was little value in the, in the items monetarily, like I said, and uh, but it was things that meant something to somebody that has sacrificed for his country. Well, Monday, someone you might least expect became a victim in Hapeville. Was gone for approximately 30 to 40 minutes. Meet Army Captain Nicholas Dockery. 2021 marks his 14th year of military service. I don't feel like a victim. He tells me his uniform and combat medals were stolen in the theft along with a few items that can't be replaced. T-shirt from 2014 in Zabal province. Some T-shirts that I gotten in special operations. Pretty significant to me the amount of time that I had it. And I'd really like to retrieve retrieve my uniforms and military t-shirts back. That would mean a significant amount to me. Items gifted while on the battlefield. A lot of those items that I collected, um, they just, I share a special bond with the people that, that, that gifted them to me. Items without monetary value that are priceless to Captain Dockery. He's now urging the thief to do the right thing and return them. I hope to recover them. <laughs> I hope that... Uh, I hope that when you look through the items within there, you'll realize that it's it, what you have to gain is is not nearly as much as I have to lose. As far as the, the video footage. Officer Ed Melton and the Hapeville Police Department are searching for the items and the thieves. In the meantime, they gifted Captain Dockery with a few new keepsakes in the show of honor and good faith. I'm sure that there'll be just a fantastic relationship between a military service member and the local police. And for that, I'm thankful for. So the Hapeville Police Department says whoever has these items, if you return them, there will be no penalties, no charges. You can return them here to the Hapeville Police Department or the Fire Department or our station, CBS 46. And again, no charges because they just want these items back for the captain. Reporting in Hapeville, I'm Tracy Bragg, CBS 46 News.